Where the PCM fit in, the producer's cooperative oil mill fit in, and we have delivery points set up. We've been working that for about four years now, trying to get that done. Provide local market, um, provide market development promotion. Uh, let me go back to this one. This, this point right there, when I started this thing five, five and a half years ago, I worked for a group of producers in western Oklahoma trying to find some way to grow winter canola and some place to crush it. And we didn't have markets at that time. We had North Dakota. That's really the only place we'd go. Some local elevators were taking it. Uh, local markets are very important. The more acres we get, the more markets we're going to have. And that's a proven fact. Uh, Monty with uh, ADM sitting here in the blue shirt. They're another market for your, for your canola now. So it's very important to understand the more acres we get, the more markets you're going to have. And that's always better for you guys. That's always better for you guys. Uh, our first contract is an act of God contract. Um, that's a true act of God contract. You contract acres, put a value on your canola, and whatever you produce off that piece of ground we get. It's a full production. Everything you take off that ground we get. 300 pounds or 3,000 pounds we get it. Um, we've already had some people been, had their wheat disaster, I mean their canola disastered out this year because it didn't come up. But that means if anything happens, it does not grow, it doesn't wheat, I mean uh, the grass kills that, whatever might happen, we would forgive that contract totally. We have a deferred pricing contract, our DP contract, and the purpose of this contract is when you deliver it to the elevator, we have to have ownership of it before we can crush it. So normally where you deliver something to the elevator and you leave it in storage for a while and then make up your mind later, we can't do that with anything that comes to us. We want it priced. We want ownership of it. So DP contract gives you till April 1st of the following year to contract that, to price it. You have, uh, I mean, you have that much time to price it. No expense to you. We don't charge your storage. We don't charge anything else. We, we do that. Uh, the only thing you need to understand is you lose control of this grain when you sell it to us that way. On a DP contract, you lose ownership of it. Just so you understand that. Do you have to know who's, who you're selling to? Do you have to know if they're you know, fin financially viable or whatever? Just like an elevator, you can sell something and price it later. An elevator, the same thing. The elevator gets ownership of it, just so you understand that. But this allows us to own the canola so we can crush it, and we start crushing in July, so we have to have ownership to crush it. In our case, in our case. I would suspect down the road later on, as this thing goes into a normal market, get enough acres out here, it'll seed like any other grain. You'll buy it and sell it to the elevators. I mean, they'll sell it to the elevators. They'll sell it to whoever they can get the best price. There'll be some direct, direct delivery stuff coming to, coming to us direct, just like any grain, grain system. Uh, as of this morning, I'm not sure if it's up or down. Um, right now, our price was uh, 21 cents a pound or 10.50 a bushel. New crop wheat was 7.70 a bushel. Uh, if you take the difference in that, it's a 34% higher than the 2011 wheat crop. That's where we are right now. Um, it costs more to raise canola. It takes more time to raise canola. It's going to cost you more fertilizer to raise canola. And I talk about that in those other places. But when you're marketing and putting it in, you've got to understand you do have more costs in this crop. You have to watch it closer. You have to learn more about it. So it does take more time and more money to grow it. Um, that's the price delivered to the delivery point. Our delivery point uh, price is you deliver to the delivery point, it becomes our canola. We pay the handling on it, we pay the storage on it, we pay the freight to get to our office. If you were to deliver to us, we pay a 62 cent premium delivered into Oklahoma City direct at harvest time, as long as we have room down there. And we've got quite a little bit of room. Uh, we opened another building up this year, another cottonseed building up this year, and uh, so we're, we're going to dump, dump canola in that one also. If you, we'll get to delivery points here, but if you have an area that doesn't have a delivery point, you might want to talk to your elevator. We'll talk to them and see if we can make them a delivery point. Delivery information uh, must be contracted at harvest or prior to with an Act of God contract or DP contract. We do grade. Last year we started grading at the delivery point, so we had the grade when you leave the elevator, your truck leaves the elevator, there's a grade on the ticket. The year before that we didn't do that. Uh, Settle the must call and check tickets. You have to check tickets. You gotta make sure you get landlord splits just like anything else. And we try to send the checks out once you've done that within five days, and normally it's within one or two days that we send the check out. 
If you end up at our office, come down there and you want your check, make sure you got all your tickets and everything, expect to spend a little time. <laughs>